Hello everyone, it's Bubonic Zombie. Welcome back to Clockwork Tales of Glass and Ink Collector's Edition. So, we had just summoned the elevator and now we are going to use it. Whoa. Yay, Matthew's back. Oh, Dr. Ink, you thought that you could ruin my plan so easily? Use my tremor machine against me? You take me for a child? Now, I know how to calibrate it myself, and neither you nor your agent friend can stop me. Okay. So, where do we go? Which way? Okay. Okay, so apparently it's too dark for us to do anything in here. Ah, it's a mechanical lizard. Looks like a chameleon. Okay, glowing mushrooms. Looks like pieces of something. Golem part. Okay. Putty knife. Okay, he is occupied. So there's stuff to do at the bridge. Okay. Glowing mushrooms. Can we use that as a light source? No. Okay. go into the cave anyway. Oh! Probably here. Yep. Now we can illuminate the room. Turn on the f turn the fuses to power on all the lamps at the top. Okay. There we go. Oh, what's this? Jackhammer. Oh, that looks like robot parts. I was about to say it looks like armor, but it's like 
parts of a robot. Okay, got more golem pieces. steel ball for that. Hmm. Oh! Thank you, Matthew! another bug. Okay, now I go back to the cave. Oh, the bridge is vibrating. Cover up the steam? No? Okay. There we go. Stal stalagmite. Okay. Now, where to? Uh, back to the storeroom. This? Yay! Okay. Yay, now we can go to the differ differential machine. Whatever that Hello? is. Is there anyone there? Ink? Evangeline, you managed to get down here. Splendid work, my dear. Barber thinks he knows how this machine works, but really he doesn't. It's far more dangerous than he thinks. We must stop him, no matter what. First, we need to open this door. Oh, that may be harder than it seems. Barber has tuned all the mechanisms to his super strong mechanical arm. You might need a hell with it. Got more golem pieces. Um, let's focus on the task at hand, shall we? to do. Some kind of card. Ah, here's the metal ball that we need. Speaking of which, go back to the storeroom. Oh, wait. Okay. And that. Oh, I think we're putting together a, a mechanical arm. Just need one more piece. There we go. Golem hand chassis. Okay. Will that work? Uh, no, it won't. Back to 
Storeroom. Okay. Now we can look on this. Well, use the arrows to move the balls through the maze to the appropriately colored slots. Okay. Okay, that took much longer than expected. Golem Factory. Okay. Oh. Low torch. Spring and puzzle parts. Okay. Okay. Glow torch, get the spring. Spring parts. Fit all the elements into the slot in the mechanical hand. Okay. Oh, one of these. Oh, it's like Tetris. Can I rotate them? No. Is it too late to admit that I'm really bad at Tetris? So you guys can obviously see. Oh, did I get it? Yay, okay. <laughs> Through the power of editing, I made that look much shorter than it actually took me to do that. Mechanical hand, okay. Another puzzle. Not that I'm complaining, but you would have to use all of this just to get him out of his cell. Oh man. Move tokens of the same color to the proper rows. You can only move them into an empty space. Okay. Green, blue, red. Okay. Here and here. There we go. Okay, you're free! Where are you? Oh, still in there. Ah, splendid. You've done it, my dear. Alas, we're not out of the woods yet. Barber must be stopped. Sadly, I didn't really figure out how the tremor machine works. You found some documents regarding the machine. May I see them? Here you go. Hmm. It seems that machine was invented by Barber's father. And he built it to prevent earthquakes, not induce them. Interesting. 
If we could compare these blueprints with Barber's documents, we might just have a way to stop him. We'll also need a piece of chalk. <laughs> Plan a sabotage. Okay. Well, we will do that in a next...